Hey, I know all of you, <laughs> but uh, you may you may not recognize me. Oh, I guess it's been a while, right? Let's uh, let's play a little catch up here. I still know how to do an intro. <gasps> what up? Hi everybody. A little bit of a different format here for an update video instead of a. Uh, background with my computer chair and all that. I got the old green screen behind me projecting, I don't know, some sort of cool image. Now see, what I didn't think of is that the wire is attached uh, in my microphone stand. And I didn't think about this until just now as uh, as we've been recording the video. Uh, oh well, so this'll, this'll have to do for the uh, the poor quality audio portion of the update. My name is Aaron, but you can also call me Enigma. And uh, believe it or not, I do know how to make YouTube videos. So yeah, why the long silence? Well, it's been like two months? I don't know. Let me, uh, let me pull out the old phone here. Almost three months ago, by the time this video goes live? I don't know, probably somewhere around three months ago. But yeah, a lot has changed uh, in the last three months. So I figured I'd go through my little checklist just to update all of you fine people as, uh, as to where I have been. So yeah, let's start with the most obvious change first. Um, Blonde hair, don't care, <laughs> I guess is the is the title of that sequence. I had been growing out my hair for over two years and I decided to donate it. Uh, and I actually have a little patch here. I donated to the charity known as Children with Hair Loss. Of course, the lighting is going to be terrible. Here, Aaron, why don't you just, um, why don't you just zoom in on that? That'll, that'll maybe make it easier to read. They are based out of uh, Michigan and they help service uh, kids and young adults all the way up until the age of 21, uh, and you can request as long as you you know meet the requirements of the of the program, you can request a hair donation kit uh, every single year, and it's up to I believe five thousand dollars or something like that, and uh, the families are not charged. The kids, the families, nobody is charged for that. Um, and they can claim a new kit, uh, a hair care kit, I believe it's called, once every year. I kind of scoped out the charity, uh, I think a couple months before I actually was going to donate my hair. Yeah, it was a long process. It was a long two years to grow out my hair, but I decided to do something different. So I, uh, you know, I, I bleached it blonde. And uh, as you can tell, by the time that I'm recording this video, my hair is already growing out and my roots are already showing. I don't know if I'll keep it blonde. That was just kind of an impulsive thing that I wanted to do. It was blonde uh, before I started to donate it um, because I hadn't done it in years. And now it's totally blonde after the fact. Um, and this is even a month of growth pretty much. So yeah, you know, that's, uh, that's what happened there. I'd planned to make an entire video on the hair donation process. I uh, shot the footage the night before I was going to donate it. And then it turns out that I could not donate it and I had to wait another month. So um, in the meantime, I had shot another video which showcased how long you know the hair truly got. That one will be coming up soon and it'll be fairly obvious to tell uh, what video I'm talking about because I will go from having this style of hair to long hair again. I'm gonna leave all of the information for children with hair loss down in the video description here. Uh, if you're interested in donating, learning about their cause, reading some of the testimonials, the stories, I encourage you to check out their website. Um, it's a very easy and uh, very uh, good thing to put some research and some time into. You know, it, it, it's a selfless act in, in terms of like the action of donating your hair, but I can't even tell you how many times I was questioned about it. You know, well, why are you growing out your hair? It's like, well, I'm doing it for this cause. And then you tell somebody about that and then it gets them interested. So on the off chance that anybody's watching this and if you've ever wanted to donate your hair, if you've ever thought about donating to a cause that contributes to people who need hair donations, I encourage you to check the link in the description and uh, to you know hear a little bit about some of the testimonials and the stories that this great organization um, has provided to thousands and thousands of families. This wasn't meant to be like a brag or like a I did it so you should too style thing. This was something that I wanted to do years ago when a family member was diagnosed with cancer. Uh, I shaved my head in solidarity for them during that period of their life and my life. And I knew that I wanted to donate it someday. So 
you know, I figured I'd do it as soon as possible, and the process is already over, which is crazy to me. I, I dig the new look, it's much easier to get ready in the morning, and uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for this segment of the video. Next segment, Aaron. Aha! Yes, so after the uh, hair donation, uh, I wanted to just give like a quiddle, uh, a quiddle, a, that's a new word for me. <laughs> a quick little was supposed to be that statement. Uh, life update for yours truly. Life has been crazy. Uh, part of the reason why I've been on a three month sabbatical break. I've taken some PTO time from YouTube. I don't know, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, part of the reason is just because I became insanely busy. Um, at the beginning of June, I was involved in a friend's wedding. So uh, that was an on-location wedding. So we traveled a, a couple hours away, I think like two, two and a half, three hours away, something like that. And um, we spent, uh, spent the weekend there, had some fun at the wedding, got back. My computer beeped at me. Why did you beep? Okay, never mind. I can continue. I thought <laughs> thought I was going to end my like recording or something, my mic recording. So we, we had a great time at the wedding, uh, came back, and I ended up recording Trover, and I edited that. But then the month of June and July got insanely busy with school. For those of you that don't know, I am currently taking an online digital cinematography uh, program through uh, a nationally renowned school. Uh, the reason why I'm being so vague is because I don't remember if I mentioned it in a past video, the name of the school. Regardless, I've done years of research uh, on the program, the school itself. Very happy to uh, to be, you know, back in school learning all about this. Digital cinematography, making videos, doing audio, editing stuff. Ooh. Because I want this to be a career of mine. And I figured going to this school, it would allow me to uh, get the connections in the field that I needed. It would give me the piece of paper that says I'm qualified to do this, and it would put me on the right track to doing things the right way. Also, uh, it's a good way to rack up a solid amount of debt, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, school got insanely busy in June and in July. August, it kind of cooled off, but obviously I had a lot of other stuff going on in July. The hair donation. Uh, and I filmed like three different things, I think, that are going to be going up on the channel pretty soon. One of those I've been knee deep in editing for over a month now, and I'm very excited about the final project. That's the one where I still have my long hair. You, you can't miss it. You'll see it. Uh, it's a great video. It'll be a long video, but it's worth it. The other projects have just been uh, choice based video games. Um, I recorded Erica, which is an FMV game that is uh, exclusive to Sony. And then, of course, I also played uh, Life is Strange 2 episode four, I believe it was, when the when the episode first dropped. And then now we have to wait a few more months for the finale in December. But at the very least, you know, I got I got a head start on uh, on some videos and some production stuff uh, for the interim anyway. So life has been busy, work has been crazy. You know, I've had some good days, had some bad days, but we plug through it and we keep chugging along on this little train that we call life. On to the next news. We are now find ourselves in the shameless promotional plug portion of the update vlog. Uh, that is a piece of fuzz or a bug flying in my room. So over the course of the last almost six months now, it's almost been a half a year, I have been planning this little project called the Relaunch 2.0. And if I'm not mistaken, the actual date occurred on April 22nd. Uh, basically, it was the 2000th day of the existence of the channel. And uh, obviously, I haven't posted a video every single day or anything like that, but I've been working behind the scenes on the channel for over 2000 days, which just blows my mind. It's absolutely crazy. Uh, I think we have over 700 videos on the channel as of right now. So in order to commemorate the relaunch 2.0, I, uh, I decided to spice things up a little bit with uh, with the editing, with the series that we're going to put out for the channel, and, uh, you know, just with the channel artwork, some of the designs, new intros, new creative risks, new editing techniques, you know, stuff like that. I wanted to do my best that I possibly could. Obviously, now that I'm in film school, I want to try to flex, you know, my chops and, and display what I'm learning there. We haven't really gotten into, you know, huge editing techniques yet. That'll that'll come down the line. But uh, I've learned a lot and I wanted to basically showcase a lot of the stuff that I learned. I actually had someone uh, by the name of Mark, a great young artist. Um, I enlisted his help in order to create 
a new banner for the channel and it's going to be up on screen now um it's all you can see right now you can't see my face uh if if you want me to make a video on it talking about it a little bit more in depth i will regardless of if you specifically want me to make it i probably am going to make it because it, it really doesn't belong in an update video just the notion that it's here uh, but I'm actually going to kind of create like another little relaunch 2.0 vlog type thing um, because we're going to have an advertising campaign for the channel. I've had a budget set aside now for months ever since I knew that I wanted to do this and it's remained untouched. It's kind of been sitting in its own little corner of my bank account and um, I know that it, it was designated for us specific purpose. At the very least, we've finally got new intros. We've got the new uh, logo for the channel. We've got the new banner now. Um, and I've even got a trailer, which I already posted, but I'm probably gonna do a reworked version now. We'll see, maybe some new music in it, I'm not sure. Uh, but that'll run as an ad campaign. I don't know for how long, probably until the budget runs out. I'll probably set a certain amount of ads per day. And then until that runs out, that'll just be how long the campaign goes. That'll about do it for that update portion of the video. Also, before we continue on, I'm actually going to leave uh, Mark's info on the screen now. It's his art station profile. So if you find yourself in need for an art commission for whatever you may need, uh, I told Mark that I would uh, give him a plug for doing such a great job on my banner. He was super easy to work with, super attentive with regarding the details in this particular banner. And he was very meticulous about the design and I gave him some creative freedom. He also asked for some specific points to, you know, make things a little bit easier to clarify for the banner. And he was super quick on the draw. He was willing to make changes after the fact, even though uh, the design took a little bit longer to finish than I would have liked. You know, we worked together throughout the whole process and shout out to you, Mark, for being such an awesome dude to work with. And uh, I'm extremely happy with how the banner turned out and I hope that everybody else enjoys it too. It's got a, it's got a few little Easter eggs in there for all of you, uh, you know, channel original subscribers. <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing that lately. It, it's going to be in a couple of videos, you'll see. Yeah, where does that leave us now? We are, uh, we are quickly approaching the end of the video. I already talked about it a little bit, but there's going to be some new stuff for the channel. Um, we've got immediate gameplay and choice based stuff coming out with Erica. Life is Strange 2. I'm going to start playing Man of Medan this weekend as of this video being recorded, which obviously you can read the record date down in the description. That'll give you a time frame as to, you know, how I'm able to turn stuff around, like the time frame that I'm able to turn stuff around in. Aaron, that was a lot of inefficient words you used right there. Basically, I'm trying to hammer home the point that I'm not sure how long it's going to take me to put out various videos and series, but they are coming. Um, I'm very excited about all of them. I also am trying to get a board game series going with uh, with my group of friends that we play game nights and D&D sessions with and stuff. Um, I've got the stack of games off camera. Uh, on my dresser over there and uh yeah hopefully we can get to those sooner rather than later i'm doing my best you know um between work school extracurricular activities um events uh personal projects you know there's there's, there's a lot of stuff on my plate i don't know why i did the john cena you can't see me thing there aaron insert clip of john cena meme and his name is john cena that is uh your end of summer vlog for 2019 and uh yeah let's finish off the year strong and head into 2020 with renewed energy my dudes and dudettes i was gonna drop the mic but this mic um is pretty expensive and and i only have one microphone cable right now so i don't want to break anything so um instead of a mic drop i'm just gonna do a nice uh, a nice calm mic set down so I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Carefully. Oh, it doesn't even reach the floor. It's just hanging there. Right down there. Bye. I have a balloon.